So you've installed and set up CC Vault and you're excited to use their multi-pool delegation feature? Let's take a look at how together. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today, let's take a look at how we delegate to one or multiple pools using CC Vault. Let's jump in. All right, so once we've finished setting up our CC Vault wallet, all we need to do now is to delegate to our preferred stake pool or stake pools. And we're actually gonna show how to do two of them in this video. So first we're gonna figure out what pools we wanna to delegate to. If you want some help narrowing down those choices, check out our video on finding the right stake pool for you. But once you've figured out the pools that you wanna to delegate to, you just enter their name here. A common use case we hear for this is people say, well, I wanna support small pools, but I'd like to split my stake between a larger pool and a smaller pool. So let's show that example. So we'll start by doing a larger pool with our friends over at Eden. So we see here the Eden pools have popped up. So let's go ahead and pick the first one. We're gonna click on delegate. All right, so now to confirm, we just need to enter our spending password. So let's go ahead and enter our spending password. After you've done that, hit sign. We'll see that it's pending. And what it's gonna do right now is it's going to delegate the full amount in this first transaction. But once this is actually finished, then we're gonna split our delegation up and we're gonna delegate the other half to the Aspen pool. So let's go ahead and let this sync up and finish. And by the way, this is the power of CC Vault using Firehose under the hood, right? We see that it's successfully submitted and now it's just waiting, but if there was congestion on the chain, it would just hold it in memory until there was a block available and it would submit it to that one. So really great knowing that when you use CC Vault and you submit something, it's going to go through. It might take a minute, but it will go through. Okay, so new transaction added, verified, and we are delegated. We'll see that we are now delegated to the Eden pool. So now if we go back to account, and we go to accounts, what we'll do now is we're gonna add a second account. And it's important that we understand the difference between addresses and accounts. Okay, these are two different things. A wallet can have multiple accounts and each of those accounts can have multiple addresses. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set up a second account that will have its own series of corresponding addresses. I'm trying to move myself up to the top here to get out of the way. We see here down at the bottom, we have the option to add account. So we need to enter our spending password. And once we've done that, let's click on add account. So now we see we have our two accounts, our initial account that has all of our funds, and then the second one that is still empty for now. So what we're gonna do is let's go back over to the send section. And now aside from where we can send to an external address, we see that now we can do inter account transactions where we have our account number zero that has our full balance and then our blank account one. Cool thing about this is you don't have to worry about what the addresses are, it's all handled under the hood. So we started with 200 ADA, let's do 100 for each. So let's send 100 over to account number one. So I'm gonna click on send to account and when I do that, it populates the address for us and now I'm gonna hit next. We don't have to do a message, let's skip this and let's send it 100 ADA. I've found this to be a little bit confusing. The next button looks like it's grayed out here, but if I hit enter, it'll actually go through. So something to keep in mind, it's kind of a quirk there. And now we see that we have to pay our network transaction fee of the 0.17 to send our 100 ADA over. So let's enter our spending password again. Let's sign the transaction. So we see that it's pending, the wallet knows about it. And then under the hood, Firehose is gonna wait until there's a block that it can put it into, and then it will actually send it to the blockchain. So let's just give this a minute to catch up. Keep in mind, we're at 97% load here on the blockchain. So we'll give it a second and then we'll go from there. Okay, cool. So we see that the transaction has been submitted and it's gone through. If we go Go back to our account section and go to our accounts. We see now that our second account now has the 100 ADA in it. So when we're navigating around here and we see transactions and we see like send and receive and these kinds of things, this is all based on whichever one of our accounts is the active account, which right now is account zero. So if we click on activate for account one, now the context of all these other tabs is gonna be for account one. And you can always tell which is your active account. If you look in the top right, we'll see here account number one is the account that we have active right now. So let's go ahead and delegate to our second stake pool. If we come over to the staking section. So now this time we're gonna search for the Aspen stake pool and we're gonna click on delegate. So actually I should have pointed this out last time, but if we scroll down here, just to be explicit, what's going on with the fees here is the actual fee for the delegation is only the normal 0.17 ADA, but the additional amount that's being deducted is also this two ADA deposit. So now this two ADA deposit is a deposit to the blockchain to create your staking address for this wallet, in this case, for this account of this wallet. It's only a deposit, you can get it back. We recommend normally you just leave it, but you can get it back if you want to. So you'll see that the total here is the 0.17 ADA fee and the two ADA deposit for a total of roughly 2.17. That's the reason that our initial account went down by two and change and it looked like sort of a big fee. It wasn't, it was the deposit for the staking, okay? So same thing again, if you're delegating to multiple pools, each account 
as it delegates, it's going to have to create its own staking key and pay its own deposit. But then for each of those accounts, if you switch pools, it's only just the fee. So just like any other time you do it, the deposit is a one-time deposit per account, and then the fee is just any time you switch pools. So we're gonna delegate our second account to Aspen. We're gonna enter our spending password. Let's go ahead and sign. And now similarly, we are now pending submitting to the blockchain to delegate our second account to the Aspen stake pool. Okay, awesome. So we see new transaction added to list, verified in the transaction. Let's go back to our accounts. If I click on account and go to accounts. Cool, so we see our two different accounts. Account zero and one, both have roughly the same balance. One of them delegated to the Eden pool, the other one to the Aspen pool. So how cool is that? You've successfully set up your CC Vault wallet, you delegate it to one or multiple pools, and you're all ready to go. So now, get out there and interact with some dApps, and we'll see you in the next video.